There are traditionally two ways to acquire software, the buy and the build approach. The buy approach has the advantage of costing less money than building the software yourself. This is because all of the risk and the development costs are taken on by the companies which produce the software. And the companies get to spread those costs across many users or many customers. And thus, the quality of the software can be excellent because they're spreading the cost over many, many, many customers. So typically if you think about things like Word or um, Windows or those kinds of applications, the, the, the spread is across millions and millions of users. So there are some advantages for, with, with buy over the build option. Um, however, there are also some downsides. So if you're getting new users on board, um, say bringing on new staff, then you have to have some kind of license compliance system to make sure that the, the, the software that you're installing is legitimate and has been purchased from, from companies. So those kinds of compliance, um, license compliance costs, and the ongoing costs of um, installing for every uh, every new staff member that you have on board, um, that that's rather can be rather onerous. The other problem, um, which is possibly more serious, is that uh, when you when you get uh, commercial software like that, um, they usually lock you into uh, the certain formats. So, for example, if you're using Word, they'll lock you into a certain for word format uh, which means that you can't easily share it with other applications. Okay so now let's talk about the build option. The build option is certainly more expensive and more risky than the buy option because you're taking on all of the risk of uh, hiring developers and, and you know doing all the project planning and making sure all of the features are designed and delivered. So yeah you, you're obviously going to be putting uh, a lot more money and uh, risk into the, the build option that you would with buy. Um, the thing is that you're going to get something which you can basically install to your heart's content on as many users as you want without restrictions so you don't have those license compliance costs, um, the ongoing licensing costs and you're also not uh, you're also free to use it as you want you're not limited um, in terms of the file formats so that you can basically um, you know store the data in, in whatever way you choose you have that freedom Open source software has many of the advantages of both buy and build. Like the buy option, you can easily install open source software by downloading it on the internet. You can also know that the software has been well tested with many thousands of users, so you get the advantage of the high quality that software brings. You also have the advantages of the build option, because if you don't have the features in the software that you're interested in, you can, you can get the source code to the software and build it yourself and build the functionality that you want into the software and if you don't have the function uh, ability to do the actual development you can actually hire some developers just like you would with the build option to extend the software and deliver the functionality you want unlike the build option you don't take on the risk of developing the entire software when you do this you already are working with a basis that you all know already know is uh, reasonably high quality so you're only building the functionality on top that you really need rather than building from scratch. So that means it's much less risky than the build option and has many of the advantages of the buy option at the same time.